Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Uh, if you're wondering what the ESP32 is doing there all alone, uh, don't be surprised. We are here. I'm going to join bits and pieces of the ESP32 along with it. Uh, and in this solo journey of the ESP32, we are going to learn a lot of things like programming, uh, interfacing sensors, and different other concepts related to ESP32. So today uh, we are going to dive into an exciting world of the esp32 microcontroller now the esp32 is not your average microcontroller it's a powerful uh, hardware packed with tons of features uh, from dual core processing to built-in wi-fi and bluetooth capabilities this tiny board is a powerhouse for your iot and embedded projects whether you're building a smart home gadgets uh, or, or a weather station or anything the ESP32 can handle it it's like having a, a Swiss army uh, knife for your electronic project now to tap on to the full potential of this incredible device we are going to use the Arduino ID for the programming needs now Arduino ID is quite accessible to the beginners and as well as the advanced users so we are going to use uh, our Arduino ID although we can use uh, there are some other developmental uh, tools that can be used to flash code onto the ESP32 but we are going to prefer Arduino ID throughout this series uh, we'll be using that as our primary tool it streamlines the process of writing the code and uh, helps us to upload the code onto the ESP32 so uh, in this entire process we'll unleash the true capabilities of this microcontroller so if you're ready to embark on this coding adventure of the esp32 and the arduino id uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then you can like this video if you're excited about exploring the potential of the esp32 so i'll catch you in the next one the video to the next week next is in the description